Welcome to this week's episode of the Hearthstone Report, or one of the Hearthstone Reports, potentially. Um, this week, we have a couple of pieces of news for you concerning the new expansion, or the announced expansion, Saviors of Egypt. What's it called? Uldum? Uldum. Uldum. I, I'm, I'm going to continue saying Egypt, because um, that's the one I can remember. First of all, though, uh, looking back at the recent card changes that were made, some statement was released. Uh, and JJ is going to summarize that for you, and then then I'm going to tear it apart after. So JJ, what what did they uh, comment on with well, the uh, with the, the, the card lead mission designer of Hearthstone, Dave Cossack, said that the, none of the changes had anything to do with China, and that Blizzard decided to update the art because it didn't meet the standards anymore, because those are cards that would not be printed like this anymore today. Quote: We went back and really just brought everything up to our standards. It wasn't because we were looking at ratings or international regulations or anything like that. We really just wanted our artists to feel good about everything in the set. And then they also went on to talk about how a lot of the stuff was in fact because of um, violence and sex uh, in the game that they didn't want there. Although apparently the art for Headcrack was just too dark. Actually, as in yeah. to make it discernible. Exactly. I, th I think the most important takeaway here is, however, for the fans of the game that this won't necessarily be the last batch of Hearthstone card art to be changed, uh, and that they're always evaluating the set and looking at it, meaning that we can expect more of this in the future, just expect Whirlwind to change. Yeah, yeah it's fixed. Because Whirlwind it's, got, it's got everything on yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's got <laughs> all of it. So, this is BS, my dudes. I, al I already got a little bit tilted about this when I talked to this, about this uh, with JJ personally, they are lying through their teeth when they say that this has nothing to do with international markets and China and regulations and stuff like that. Bull crap. We all know that. Uh, a company doesn't all of a sudden become the moral savior of society and removes all violence and, and sex from the game after running it for over five years. And if there's more cards that you're planning to change... Don't say something like, we'll do it in the future. Why are you not doing it right now? You're waiting until the necessity arises again. Until someone gets miffed about those cards. And you have to, for financial expansion, ex expansion purposes, change those cards. Which you're just basically setting up for yourself now. It's fine that you do it. I don't care. It's your game. But don't don't give us this stupid excuses. Because you know it's not true. That, that's all for that. I'm not going to get into it. But yes, th there is definitely uh, a relation there that they're not revealing. Well, I mean, what you're saying is just that they're trying to appeal to odd other which audiences. Which is fine. Which doesn't necessarily have to be related to any official regulation in specific countries. It doesn't have to be. Whereby their statement would then be accurate. Saying it they has... never said it was not for profit. They yeah. just said it wasn't for a specific country. But saying it has nothing to do with China, and we know that China is uh, supposed to be or is the country with those types of regulations. We, know, we knew that when the, uh, the Jaina R change happened, so you can't tell me that you weren't looking at that with one eye at least. Uh, when you made those decisions. I'm not buying it for a sec. It's and I assume the, uh, for why they're not doing it all at once is in part to make it more gradual for the fan base so that people don't get outraged by like the entire class except yeah. being replaced all of a sudden. Exactly. And also because they can probably squeeze in the art orders a bit better with the expansions to maybe cover it with like the expansion budget or something like that. Yeah, so I'm kind of, over the last couple of weeks, I've, I've gotten a little bit miffed at Blizzard here. First, we had the flimsy reasoning for rotating cards to the Hall of Fame, talking like talking about something like class identity, which didn't make much sense for those specific cards, uh, and now this stuff. So I, I'm not liking the way they're going here. It's very, very much bureaucracy and uh, and bullshit. So let's get into the rest of the stuff though, which is a bit more interesting and uh, a bit more fun to also listen to. Yeah, some um, minor news about the series Wolden before we get into the new Egypt. card. And that is that, first of all, we now officially have confirmation for which heroes represent which classes. Yes. I believe we guessed them correctly beforehand anyways. Yep. Not sure if we mentioned it last week. Elise, uh, Elise is a druid. That was obvious. Sir Finley Mergleton is a paladin. Yes. Reno Hexon is a mage. And technically we have no confirmation for Bran. Bran would be the hunter. That's the one class that's left over. Yeah. So, yes. So Bran... Also... Arguably the single most obvious one, design-wise. Yeah, because he's on—he's riding a dinosaur, so he's a beast. 
And it would have also been the one that I would have considered most obvious from the old designs, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, that that's uh, those classes. What do we have next, JJ? Well, if you want to know something specific about the Saviors of Uldum I that don't. has not yet been revealed, there is an upcoming Saviors of Uldum AMA on Tuesday, July 9th on Reddit. The Hearthstone subreddit. At least they're not doing it on the forums again. Yeah, thank you very much. So yeah, um, there is currently an announcement thread up, but that is not the thread to post your questions in. So you gotta wait till that is up. I'll post a link to it in the description once that is up. Uh, we'll the, announce it on our Discord server also. Yeah. And they will start answering the questions. Uh, or they will be answering the questions from 2pm to 4pm Pacific, which is... 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. Central European. Yes, sir. So that's that's the AMA. Yeah. Take part if you're interested in doing that. And on top of that, to finish out the show, we had another card revealed for the Saviors of Egypt set. And it's a quest, and it's the Shaman quest, and it's called Corrupt the Waters, and it has cool art, and it's a one... Obviously, it's a one-man card. It's a quest that requires you to play six Battle Cry cards. Which is not very tough to do. No, the question is just how fast do you end up doing it? Because forcing it within six turns is easy. As a matter of fact, you can probably squeeze into four or five if you really want to. How do you work it in? But the question is just, is it necessary to do it that fast? Exactly. The and reward for it, by the way, is the Heart of Vernal, which is a uh, hero power, as they all are. Two mana active hero power. With uh, the effect being your battle cries trigger twice this turn. So obviously this goes into both by the quest reward and the requirement goes into a battle cry centric deck. Shutterwalk. I was about to say, what battle cry centric things do we have in Shaman? Yeah, Shutterwalk. Shutterwalk uh, Shutter is a big one. Shutterwalk. I know for a fact that there has been attempts to include Shutterwalk and the Hagathos into Murloc Shaman, which would probably work well enough just with the quest Shutter on its own. Uh, but I would assume that a bit of a slower, anywhere from mid-range to combo in speed, uh, Shadowwalk deck would be the end of where this goes to, because oh. the more aggressive Murloc strategies don't really want to waste their turn one by playing the quest, yeah. and in general That's in the early game sense. don't have any mana to spare. The question also is, um, Control Shaman, what is the ultimate hero power you want? Hagatha's passive value generation or this active value generation? It's tough. So if you're running Hagatha the Witch also, in what order do you want to play the cards? You want to cash in the reward first, um, get some good battle cries off, or do you want to go with uh, with uh, with Hagatha's uh, value generation? There? Well, I would assume that... Also, Shudder Walk. That this card, uh, this hero part gets a bit worse over time, while the Hagatha yeah. stays very consistent. Yeah, for sure. So I would assume that you play... Uh, or that you finish the quest first and play Hagatha afterwards at some point, which also makes Hagatha a way better board clear, because she then clears for 6 if you yeah. can press the button first. It is interesting that you have the combination of a quest and a hero. We've seen that before with the odd quest warrior, which yeah. pulled it off very successfully. Um, I believe, was there a brief period where they had Boom as well? Or was did that not line up? Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, so they had two heroes yep. and the quest that changed the hero power. So, if they can make it work, I don't see why Shaman couldn't. Yep. Especially because this new hero power does, in a very limited way at least, synergize with the hero card as well. Exactly. So, uh, this hero power definitely goes uh, very strongly with certain cards, like, for example, Swamp King, Hagatha. I don't know how... Well, not Mach Morpho, even though the card art does show Mach Uh But also with cards like, what's his name? The, the 9 mana 6-6 six, six that repeats all your things. I, I forget. Shutter walk. That's what I was talking about. So that definitely would go into a deck like that. But uh, yeah, that's the card that has been revealed. Obviously, it's a legend card. One so more thing that is noteworthy that I don't think we've really touched upon yet is that it is for the entire turn. Yeah. Unlike Murmuring Elemental, which is once, yeah. meaning that you don't have to necessarily have one big power play. play. Granted, w with eight mana sneaking in two battle cries. Likely, there isn't going to be anything too huge you can do with two smaller minions, but you can theoretically. I mean, even something like, you know, Fire Elemental and then the Novice Engineer for some extra draw, 
And uh, that's that's the report, right? Yeah, that's I, what I would assume that talk about. most decks that run this will run Shadowwalk. Yeah. Some good news. Even just as a top end. Yeah. Some good news, some interesting news, some new news, some rather infuriating news. Let us know what you think uh, about the, the news that we have covered and have come out. And uh, how hyped are you for the next expansion? What are you looking for? Uh, how do you like uh, the heroes as the classes that they are? And uh, which card are you looking for most? Like, what do you think the card is going to be like? If you have theories on what Reno and Mergleton and Brian and all these guys are going to be doing as their cards, let us know in the comments or join our Discord server. Preferably both. Link to the Discord is in the description, by the way. You can go join that for free. Everybody's welcome there. Beginner, intermediate, professional, does not matter. We got them all. Uh, it's a great community to hang out, talk some Hearthstone, uh, and have fun together, get better at the game. Thank you for watching. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to Trash TV, and we're gonna see you on the next one. JJ, that's it. Shutter walk.